I got a couple of these, and I got that. If you guys remember what the old clothesline used to be, that is a clothesline tightener. Well, you can use it on other things as well, but it's good for tightening up a line. Uh, so, I have this on here. I'm not crazy about the way this is hooked to this, so I think I'm going to put a piece of cordage here, or a small piece of rope or something, and um, hook this to that. I don't know if I want to leave it up here or not. I may just leave it like this for now. I mean, I'm going to reinsure it a little bit better, but uh, leave it up here for now so that I don't have to uh, go cuckoo, and I can see how it works. And if everything works, then I can come up here and tie everything in the way it should be tied in. So, now this wire here goes all the way down to the gate down there. Yeah. And there's a loop in it. I don't know if you can see the loop or not. If you look over the pavers, you may be able to see it. But now, I can probably get away with running it to the pipe up there. See the vent on the house? There's a satellite dish pipe up there. I can probably take it to there. And if I do, I'll probably just make it by everything. Which will be fine. But... I really hate to run things to the house. Plus, there's a couple of insulators in the house down there, too, if you can see them. Probably not. Right above that emergency light, there's three insulators. Because at one time, the power to the shed came overhead. And that's where the power lines were coming out of. The two power lines and one uh, guide. Um, and they're really in there too, so even that would work. Thing is, uh, I really don't know if I want to do that. And then I still have to figure out how I'm going to uh, get the tuner because you, see, you gotta remember there's a tuner involved here. Now the tuner is waterproof. You know, you can put it on the tower uh, which I'm not going to do. It doesn't really need, well, it does need power. All right, so i got to pay attention to what I do with that. I don't know how far I can move it. All right, now, this piece of line, I'm not crazy about it. So I'm going to take this piece. Yeah, I am. And I'm going to see how long it actually is. How long are you? Eh, it may not be long. <laughs> well, I gotta put another line in the other end anyway, so it probably would be. So what I have to do is tie it to here and pull this one back a little bit more like it belongs. Um, and not have to worry about this garbage. I mean, I'm surprised it's holding up as long as, long as it is. At one time, well, you can't see it, but if you look at the tower, next to the tower is a tree blowing back and forth. Oh, here comes a train. This is coming out of Boston. There. So everybody who wanted to have a train fix, there you go. Anyway. Look at the tower. There's trees over there beyond it. Those trees are back. And when we had a big tree that was here, the size of that tree, cut down, I had the, the climber climb up that tree and run me a pulley with a line. So I was able to pull the line through the pulley and it's always there for me. And I attached an antenna to it. Well, that line was with this. And within three years, the line came down. It just rotted away. So here's some more. This is probably a piece of it. So I got to get up there on the roof too someday. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, well, why should it look any different? All right, I got to get some more line. I need more of this, and I have more of this. I just don't want to keep running up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, I haven't really used this, so there's no sense in not using it because uh, it's only going to make things easy for me later. Yeah, all right. Here, let me put you guys down for a minute. I'm sitting here talking and thinking in circles. And I'm taking you guys with me. This line in here isn't too, too bad. The only thing I don't like about this is that uh, this is plastic. They hold well. The gear is plastic. Uh, the clutch. Uh, so it could very easily crack. beforehand. Uh, you know, in the wintertime. That's what I meant to say. Alright, let me put this down there. Let me uh, take you again. Put you in my pocket. And I gotta get more of this, which I have more. So how much more do I actually need? Uh, well, this line is being replaced. So, hey baby! I'm just going to bring up what I have, and then I can cut off what I need. I don't want to cut it and then find out I cut too much and have a waste, or I didn't cut enough and have a waste. I could have just used the whole thing.
but the more I think about it, uh, I'm just going to cut that wire. What I'm thinking here is, I have to get this up. That's the length that I need. I gotta finish bolting that down. So in order for me to put this up where I want it and stay away from the wind turbine, because otherwise I can just pull it over to that pole, but I don't wanna do that. Because it'll go right by the turbine. Uh, and if I get it up where I want it, I'll bypass all these wires. So, this has to go up about here. So that's going to be about uh, six and a half feet. So what I'm thinking of is uh, I've got a piece of, um, uh, yeah, a piece of wood. <laughs> that would be a nice base. Then I can drill a hole in it big enough for a piece of two and a half inch PVC, schedule 40, 
and I can notch that to fit here and this will just snap into it <clears throat> and it'll probably hold in place <clears throat> 